today i'm going to discuss my strategy for the cat lrds section special emphasis on the word my because this is my strategy for this section and this has been developed out of personal experience in preparing for the cat 2019 exam right uh, moving forward here are my scores in the cat 2019 paper as we can see that in the lrds sections my scores were moderate and the reason being i made a wrong choice of uh, deciding to solve a set which uh, I could not and that eventually wasted five to six minutes of my paper so that is why uh, the score in LRDI is where it is in LRDI section it is all about decision making if you choose a set which will uh, which you cannot solve and you end up wasting time you're going to lose your mind in maybe in mocks or maybe god forbid in the actual paper which you appear, uh, appear for and this is a particular meme which uh, sums up what happens when you go through that certain pointers before we start lrdi is all about choosing the right set it is all about figuring out out of the eight sets which are the easy ones do them first then move on to the medium ones and then out of the difficult or the leftover sets try to do a few questions here and there there's a rule of thumb that familiarity is directly proportional to difficulty if we are familiar with cubes when diagrams and arrangements because of the fact that we practice them so much in mocks then you can assume that uh, in the actual cat paper you might get a very difficult question from these topics However, usually in each CAT paper, there will be one very weird question, be it related to chess or be it a weird graph that you have to decipher. Usually these weird questions are the easy ones and uh, we have to put our brains in it. So that CAT will test your emotional stability. Don't lose your cool. LIRDI especially is a section in which if you end up wasting time in a certain questions, you tend to uh, not be emotionally stable and make a couple of other wrong decisions as well so make sure you don't do that and uh, lrti uh, because of the fact that calculator is uh, provided lr and di uh, they're not there doesn't remain much of a difference even the sets which are data intensive uh, also uh, end up having certain amount of logical reasoning in them uh, as you can see in, from the previous year papers and here is a small table which will give you a snapshot so to get a 99 percentile you need to solve four sets because in lrdi if you solve a set you get four questions right and uh, usually the accuracy is very very close to 100 percent so that so aim for at least four sets and if you want a 99 aim for four sets plus a few questions here and there here are my suggestions so the first point about choosing the set our objective is as mentioned earlier to find the easiest sets and solve them first however uh, when we practice we need to understand that it it is not just important for you to know about venn diagrams arrangements and being able to solve the sum one skill which a lot of students don't pick up is the fact that you the skill of identifying the easiest sets and this is a very very important point there will be students who will be able to solve each and every dy questions or LR questions, but that isn't the big deal. The major deal is that can you identify the sets which are the easier ones out of the eight? Can you identify those four sets which you're going to solve? And that is a very difficult skill to master because this is something which you will only learn through experience. And uh, unfortunately, uh, not a lot of teachers will be able to teach you that as well. So you need to look for clues and questions which will help you identify the easiest easier sets. Uh, these sets would not uh, for example usually the sets which are easier have definite answers if is a danger word so if there are certain questions which has if in them that means that there is going to be various cases so identify uh, so try to avoid those questions uh, and there are other tips and uh, there are other tricks as well usually if there are more than 10 or 11 information pieces means that that the sum will be a very hazy one or it will be something which is very complicated so uh, there is no generic rule but this is something which you just have to go by your gut and your understanding practicing lrdi the best way to practice lrdi is through mocks only don't solve lrdi on a piece of paper uh, but do it in a time-based environment and the best way to do it is through mocks 
take mock series of various institutes and solve LRDA sets there. If there are eight sets, divide them into easy, medium, and difficult. Do the easy and medium sets. You have you can then and there leave the difficult sets because even if they come in the exam, you are not going to do it. Your aim is to do four sets plus a few questions. So it would be very good if you could have an aim of five sets. But uh, for me personally, it was not possible because I knew that I couldn't do that. So for me, it was it always was uh, to do four sets out of eight. Accuracy is more important than speed. The accuracy has to be hundred percent in very simple and uh, blunt terms. It has to be hundred percent. If is a danger word, don't judge a question by its size. And uh, this is a mistake which I made. So make sure that you guys don't repeat it. And like I said, uh, there will be certain leftover sets, and if there is certain amount of time left, so you can try to go through those questions and go and make certain sense out of it. And you might as well, if you want, you can just take a guess. However, be sure that uh, you might end up losing a mark as well. So that is it. In LRD, there are two strategies, and the choice of strategies uh, here, unlike VRC, plays a very important role. So the first strategy is that you get the paper, you read all the sets. On a sheet of paper, you write all the sets, you read all the sets, identify the sets that you do you are not going to do, clear them out. Out of the sets that you want to do, make a list of preference that this is the set that I'm going to do first, second, third, fourth. Make sure that if there is a set in which you'd identify that there is this particular one question which I will not solve. Then you solve those sets at the end. Try to solve all the sets in which you are going to solve all the questions initially. The benefit of this plan is that better decisions, but it will waste your time because you have to reread the sets again. So, for example, you read eight sets, then you decide this to do, this not to do. After that, when you visit that set, you might have to give it a read again, but um, it will waste around five to six minutes. That's it, according to me. On a case by case basis, you read a set. Take the this is plan B. You read a set, you take the decision then and there whether to solve it or not, and then move ahead. You save time, but it can lead to poor decisions. Remember, LRDI is very different from VRC and quants because in LRDI, you're you're not solving the entire paper, you're solving half of the paper. That's it. And you solve more questions in VRC and quants than just 50% of the questions there. So yeah, it's uh, very different and uh, Treat it as a different exam. VRC, LRD, and Quant should be treated as three different exams. Uh, while when you choose a strategy, don't just go by uh, uh, your rational, uh, your rationality, but make sure that you apply both of them and uh, make sure that what you have, uh, what you have chosen is the one which is actually a good fit for you. Apart from that, if there are any other queries, you can uh, contact me at the mail ID provided. Here. All the best for your CAT examinations.